The year is 2029. For the past five years, the United States has been a Christian nation. A man I hardly know has seated me in front of a typewriter and told me to remember and write. I don't know why I'm here or what they really want from me. The cloak of collective righteousness lies heavy on the land. After the Christian majority takes control, pluralism will be seen as immoral and evil, and the state will not permit anybody the right to practice evil. Half the nation was disappointed when the dream of an Obama presidency died. We say grace, my God, in the name of Jesus. Every form of witchcraft is what we rebuke in the name of Jesus. Greg. Think about this. What happened? Why did it happen? How could it have happened? Spiritual warriors who will say, America will not fall. That we will not let this nation fall to the hands of those who would enslave us. Ladies and gentlemen, America belongs to God. America started as a Christian nation. It didn't start as a heathen nation. It belongs to Jesus Christ. It's his. It's his country. I suppose what happened was they said what they would do. We didn't listen, and they did what they said they would do. On July 24th, 2012, President Palin, for only the second time in the history of the Republic, declared martial law. We draw the line at Manhattan. The 1.7 million New Yorkers who live here will fight you. We will fight you in every neighborhood, every street, every alley, and every building. We will fight you because we fight for our freedom. We fight for our dignity. We fight for our lives. <laughs>